Despite the fact that white supremacist serial killer Joseph Franklin was convicted of more than half a dozen murders, members of Missourians for alternatives to the death penalty do not think he should be executed. Murdering Joseph Franklin or other people who commit a, commit a horrible crime, it, it, doesn't, it doesn't bring back the loved one and, and oftentimes it, it well, diminishes we as a collective people. Jeff Stack says that's why he and 12 others came to Boone County Courthouse Tuesday evening to show solidarity against what they say is an inhumane and unnecessary part of the criminal justice system. Member Ellie Lang was elated when she heard that Franklin was given a stay of execution. I'm pleased that, he, that a stay was granted um, and I hope that that stands and I think that I think that appropriate consequence would be um, life in prison. Aside from some members' views of capital punishment being morally wrong, the group shared some other concerns about the death penalty, including what they called the secrecy of executions. It is against state law to reveal the identity of the doctor who supervises it, as well as the state's refusal to make public the identity of the pharmacy that makes the execution drugs. Members also say they are concerned about the use of pentobarbital in Franklin's execution. It would be the first time the drug is used in Missouri. Jim Pfizer says it's time for America to join much of the rest of the world and get rid of the death sentence. A lot of civilized countries all over the planet don't engage in, uh, in killing, you know, people. The protesters hope that somehow this case will lead to the abolition of the death penalty once and for all. Chris Shepard, KRCG 13, Columbia.